We're located in Homestead, Florida. Our main crops are yellow crookneck squash, zucchini, green beans, grape tomatoes, and tasty leek. The biggest challenge we have are nematodes. The soil input is very, very important because no matter what, we have to work the land, you have to put the seed in the ground, the fertilizer, everything is very, very expensive. And for you to have to disc it up because of nematodes, it's a big problem. If you can make a crop and harvest every squash or zucchini that you, you put in the ground, we wouldn't have to plant as much. I think that the nematodes have been increasing. The tomato crops have been sh shrinking so much. All the tomato farmers around here 10, 15, 20 years ago were so big that we'd swap and rotate land with them. They would take care of the nematodes. But since the tomato crop is shrinking, nobody fumigates the land anymore. So now we need something ourselves to combat the nematodes. Because without the plastic, there's, there's really not any other alternative. We know we have a problem, so we just trying to find something that we can combat the nematodes with and they come up with the trial of Nimitz. Nimitz fits very good in our system. We can put it out, we can disc it in about a week, 10 days before, and then we'll just go ahead and plant and it's an easy way to put it down and it works. Where the Nimitz was, you could tell, you could tell a big difference. It was a lot better. The, where there was none, it's yellow, the plants are small, half of the plants didn't even make any squash at all. This field here was yellow crookneck squash all the way across, and this particular portion of the field we lost completely to nematodes. So we disked it up completely, we put out the nimets, we waited nine days, we put out a portion on that end, we left a check, and another portion here, as you can see, they're nice and green, as we dug them up, you could tell where there was no nimets, the roots were full of root knot, and the other ones are nice and hairy the way they're supposed to be. Yeah, very distinct. I could tell to the row, you can see, you can see the difference dramatically. Actually, the last couple of years on tomatoes, we haven't even fumigated because we're in small areas near houses and we're worried about the, the homeowner, so we, we haven't even done it. But you can see the effects of the nematodes without the fumigant. That's a big plus because we can put it out in smaller, smaller fields near homes where we like to be out of the wind and more wind protected areas. And we can go ahead and put it out where the restricted, more restricted ones you can't, you can't use. Since Nimitz gives you 45 days control, it'll get you well into your harvest. For the next two weeks, you'll, you'll harvest with no problems before they start back at you. But it's just true, but it, you can see the difference. If, it, if you can pick and harvest off of a plant that every seed that you plant, that's the way you're gonna make money. But if you lose half of the crop, and you gotta spray twice as much and put down every snake oil you could dream of to try to make your crop, you're not gonna make any money. I mean, it's just the, the bottom line right there. When you dig up a plant and it has all the hairy roots, all the feeder roots, and it, the plant is operating at 100% the way it's supposed to be, we don't need to put down as much fertilizer. The plant's healthy. It can fend off some of diseases on its own. You spray less, pick more, and make more money. We're gonna use Nimitz on as, as many places as we can that's labeled for the crop, and we're gonna give it a good go around this year because it really impacted our farm this year. The, the nematodes were really, really a, a bad pest. I would say that the Nimitz is a great product. It works. You see the results right to the row, and it's a safe product to use. It's easy to handle.